Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I just finished today to uh, render a model uh, done by San, De San Devon. A uh, model he sent me last week, and uh, I did offer to him to do a, a render pass on it just for the fun of it. I did post this model online like uh, 30 minutes ago, and I already get a lot of questions about how I did achieve the, the leather. Basically, uh, people have difficulty to get their head around about the fact that the leather do not have any diffused texture, but you still see a lot of uh, variation in the color. Basically, you see the, the dark area, the red area, and then on those edge of the leather where basically the, the leather will um, scruff against each other, you will get some kind of uh, fringe effect where the leather will become brighter and discolored. Okay, uh, before I go further on the video, let me introduce you to the work of Stan, which is very amazing actually, I really like his stuff, because he is a very talented um, character designer and he has a different style, he can go from uh, cartoony stylized to uh, quite realistic stuff. Very interesting, his webpage is uh, www.zandevin.com. Okay, then I would suggest we get started. Well, 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 then let's go. <clears throat> we'll start with just a standard material that is assigned to the wall object. Uh, I just want uh, to be able to isolate those areas I will be working on. Here it's a quick lighting with the sun and sky just to get an idea about what we'll be working on. And uh, we will be creating first a couple of material, octane material, let's go here, glossy material 1, glossy material 2. The first one will be the leather. The second one will be uh, just a chrome because even if we don't really need it, I like to have it. Let's assign it to the object. Leather will be uh, red. The chrome will be darker. And uh, let me... What's going on? Here and here we will then assign the leather. And here... I said here... And here, let's hide that, hide that, we will assign the chrome. Okay, let's do a quick render to see what we have. And this is the first pass. Okay, um, let's look into the leather here at this point. Here, something like that, something like that. Um, we will take the index to zero. Uh, spec, uh, the spec will become blue, the RGB spectrum value, maybe, maybe here, something, something like that. Uh, let's go back to the material, a lot of roughness, color is down and obviously a lot less spec, a lot less. Okay, and more roughness. I guess that will be the base for our leather. As for the chrome, very quick, same story, index to 0.1, specular higher, color darker, a little bit of roughness just to catch the light. So I guess uh, we can start to work with that. Okay, the idea, let me uh, close this render. We have the leather. Right. What we know about the leather is that I need those dark area and those light area. So again, the base of my workflow is always the mixed material. That's what I did show before in the last video. I did show it about the paint and the, the scratch metal, but here I'm doing it with the leather, which is basically the same idea. I will have a mixed material where I will mix a duplicate of the leather, which will be darker and maybe we'll have less uh, less spec so and uh, I will plug them here here and here I will actually to accentuate the effect make them a lot darker and I will use as a mix matter as a blend I will use a dirt texture Octa dirt. So now I will reassign that to my leather. Yeah, like that. 
that. Let's assign it to the leather here. Octane mix done. And let's start a preview. So and let us maybe zoom a little bit closer to see a little bit more detail what's going on. So as you can see here, let's me will concentrate on that here. My dirt material, let's put the strain to a lot higher. Maybe nine. It gives me a it's like an amino occlusion, right? But the cool stuff it's like I have a material below. Let's change the detail maybe it's too much. Let's put point one. I mean one and maybe the radius. I'll put the radius at uh, five. <coughs> so that will be for the dark area. Right now I'm actually kind of exaggerating it compared to wh what I did have in the real render. It's just because I really want you to see the, the difference. I'm actually here, we will break the spec. And I think it's quite going in the right direction. Now the next step is to look into the, the bright area. To do that, I will actually create another mix. Bring it here, plug my leather in there, then duplicate this one, plug it in there, but this one will be more bright, maybe slightly, let's make it brownish for now, orange, something like that. Just exaggerate it. Let's uh, have the spec somewhere there, and the roughness will be down no up, up 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 so in here same story assign a blend and the blend will be a dirt octane dirt texture so now i reassign that to my object let's close it here that mix here reassign here reassign here so and let's do a test render so you can see the test render is going on and I have obviously something wrong is happening. It's uh, I'm covering the dark area when it's actually not what I want to do. Let's go here into the mix. Let's expand it here and look into our blend, which is the texture. And the first stuff we will do is invert the normal. Then we will lower the radius to 0.1. Oh, we cannot lower the radius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now it's better. Point five is probably way too high. Point one. Uh, it's a little bit too old looking. Point uh, zero three. Now it's starting to come together. As you can see, that's exactly the the look I'm going for here in those area, those area here. And here in those area in here it's looking a bit older let's put uh, a point four maybe and let's take it down to leave it at point four the detail a bit higher nice and now we can take it down to point zero five too low okay point zero eight so and obviously we will want to go there again look into that color and uh, sorry to this one leather two and change the color to something more akin of the look we want to have it's a bit darker so now as you can see i have a fairly decent looking material that i can tweak more and more at vitam internum um another Think I could do that would allow me to have a better look is to look into a texture. I know I have UV on that model already, which means I can go here into the, the first leather and assign a bump texture, which I already have somewhere. Octane image texture, we will take uh, octane float image texture because it's a black and white, and look into here. And look 
look into E. He Dropbox Motoko and seamless leather. It's a just simple seamless texture, which is right now way too big. That's why I will go into scale and put it at um, 15 for now. 15 and I will take it down to 0 0.02 to start with and start to zoom into it to see what's going on with that texture so let's look on the arm it's like in real life right I mean if I look at a leather jacket I will not be able to discern the leather with my bare eyes on the first look but if I get closer and closer and closer then I can start to see all those little details and uh, what's happening right now it's I'm quite happy with the result I might be looking into maybe taking it that down to 17 and um, look it from far away I guess I am happy with the result so now the next step will be to go back into our first our original leather and look at the roughness here and see if what we can do we can start to make the leather more like latex but it's not really what I want let's go here somewhere it's too low the idea is to get the right amount between um, between spec and roughness so let's see what we can do with the index and uh, let's put the index 1 1.3 it's way too high 1.1 no 1.8 ah, I said point 0.8 point 0.8 so give us a, a nice um, Fresnel on the leather so now basically from there there's no limit right I can put more and more and more and more layer I could have uh, paint my mixed in Photoshop instead of letting the dirt map handle it but it's actually doing exactly what I want um, let's go back and zoom on the arm again not from here sorry I mean zoom from here and you can see it's going on nicely I mean yes it takes a little bit more time to calculate than the texture map but I don't have to deal with uh, too much texture and memory which is very important when rendering the octane and um, I think for now that will be the conclusion of this video and uh, I hope you did enjoy it as much as I did and uh, if you have any more question about other area of this project just send me an email or shoot me uh, something on Facebook and I will do a quick video to show you how I did it see you next time around